theorem if the angles of a triangle are 30 degrees To prove, number 1, AB is equal to 1 upon 2BC. Number 2, AC is equal to root 3 upon 2BC. Construction. Take a point D on ray BA such that AB is equal to AD. Join points C and D. Proof. In triangle CDB, AB is equal to AD by construction. Therefore, the point A is a midpoint of segment DB. Mark this as statement 1. Also, it is given that angle CAB is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, segment AC is perpendicular to segment DB. Mark this as statement 2. Therefore, from statement 1 and 2, we get segment AC is the perpendicular bisector of segment BD. Therefore, point C is equidistant from points B and D by theorem of perpendicular bisector. Therefore, BC is equal to DC. Therefore, in triangle DCB, angle BDC is equal to angle DBC as they are the angles opposite to congruent sides. But it is given that angle DBC is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, angle BDC is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, angle DCB is equal to 60 degrees as they are the remaining angle of triangle DCB. Therefore, triangle DCB is an equilateral triangle as each angle is proved 60 degrees. Therefore, DC is equal to BC is equal to DB. Mark this statement as 3. But, AB is equal to 1 upon 2DB by construction. Mark this as statement 4. Therefore, from statement 3 and 4, we get AB is equal to 1 upon 2BC. Mark this as statement 5. In right angle triangle CAB, AC square plus AB square is equal to BC square by Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, from statement 5, we get AC square plus 1 upon 2BC whole square is equal to BC square. Therefore, AC square plus 1 upon 4 into BC square is equal to BC square. AC square is equal to BC square minus 1 upon 4 into BC square. Therefore, AC square is equal to 3 upon 4 BC square. Therefore, AC is equal to root 3 upon 2 BC. Therefore, AB is equal to 1 upon 2 BC and AC is equal to root 3 upon 2 BC. Hence, the theorem is proved. Let's look at an example. In triangle MNK, angle N is equal to 90 degrees. Angle M is equal to 60 degrees. MN is equal to 6. Then, find MK and KN. Solution. In triangle MNK, it is given that angle N is equal to 90 degrees and angle M is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, angle K is equal to 30 degrees as it is the remaining angle of triangle MNK. Therefore, triangle MNK is 30 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees triangle. Now, MN is equal to 1 upon 2 MK as it is the side opposite to 30 degrees. 6 is equal to 1 upon 2 MK. Therefore, 12 is equal to MK. Therefore, MK is equal to 12. Let us mark this as statement 1. Now, KN is equal to root 3 upon 2 into MK as 
it is side opposite to 60 degrees is equal to root 3 upon 2 into 12 from statement 1. Therefore, Kn is equal to 6 root 3. In the above example, we have found that when Mn is equal to 6, then Mk is equal to 12 and Kn is equal to 6 root 3. What is the ratio among the lengths of these sides? That is, what is Mn is to Nk is to Km is equal to 6 is to 6 root 3 is to 12. That is, 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Converse of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. In a right angle triangle, if the length of one side is root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse, then the measure of the angle opposite to that side is 60 degrees. Given in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degrees and BC is equal to root 3 upon 2 into AC. To prove, angle A is equal to 60 degrees. Proof In triangle ABC, it is given that angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem is equal to AB square plus root 3 upon 2 AC square as it is given is equal to AB square plus 3 upon 4 AC square. AC square minus 3 upon 4 AC square is equal to AB square. 1 upon 4 AC square is equal to AB square. Therefore, AB is equal to 1 upon 2 AC. Mark this as 1. Therefore, angle C is equal to 30 degrees from 1. Therefore, angle A is equal to 60 degrees as it is the remaining angle of triangle ABC. Therefore, in a right angle triangle, if the length of one side is root 3 upon 2 times the hypotenuse, the measure of the angle opposite to that side is 60 degrees. Theorem of 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. If the angles of a triangle are 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, then each of the perpendicular sides is 1 upon root 2 times the hypotenuse. Given in triangle ABC, angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 45 degrees and angle B is equal to 90 degrees. To prove AB is equal to BC is equal to 1 upon root 2 AC. In triangle ABC, it is given that angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, AB is equal to BC as they are sides opposite congruent angles. Mark this as statement 1. In triangle ABC, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem is equal to AB square plus AB square from 1. AC square is equal to 2 AB square. Therefore, 1 upon 2 AC square is equal to AB square. Therefore, 1 upon 2 root AC is equal to AB by taking square root. Mark this as statement 2. Therefore, AB is equal to BC is equal to 1 upon root 2 AC from 1 and 2. Therefore, if the angles of a triangle are 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, then each of the perpendicular sides is 1 upon root 2 times the hypotenuse. Let us solve few examples. Example 1. Quadrilateral PQSN is a trapezium. Segment PQ is parallel to segment NS and PQ is equal to 8. PN is equal to 6 root 2. Find NS. Solution. In triangle PTN, angle T is equal to 90 degrees. Angle N is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, 
angle NPT is equal to 45 degrees as it is the remaining angle of triangle PTN. Therefore, triangle PTN is 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. Therefore, NT is equal to 1 upon root 2 into PN by 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle theorem is equal to 1 upon root 2 into 6 root 2. Therefore, NT is equal to 6. Mark this as 1. NT is equal to PT is equal to 6 as they are congruent sides of 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. Mark this as 2. In quadrilateral PQRT, it is given that angle T is equal to angle R is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, quadrilateral PQRT is a rectangle. Mark this as 3. Therefore, PT is equal to QR is equal to 6 from 2 and 3. PQ is equal to TR is equal to 8 as PQ is equal to 8 and from 3. In triangle QRS, angle R is equal to 90 degrees. Angle S is equal to 30 degrees. Therefore, triangle QRS is a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle. QS is equal to 2 into QR as it is the side opposite to 30 degrees is equal to 2 into 6. Therefore, QS is equal to 12. Therefore, RS is equal to root 3 upon 2 into QS as it is side opposite to 60 degrees is equal to root 3 upon 2 into 12. Therefore, RS is equal to 6 root 3. Therefore, now NS is equal to NT plus TR plus RS as points NTR and S are collinear is equal to 6 plus 8 plus 6 root 3. NS is equal to 14 plus 6 root 3. Example 2. In triangle XYZ, angle Y is equal to 90 degrees. Angle Z is equal to A degrees and angle X is equal to in bracket A plus 30 degrees. If XZ is equal to 24, find XY and YZ. Solution. Let us first find the measure of angles of triangle XYZ. Angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z is equal to 180 degrees as they are the sum of measures of angles in a triangle. A plus 30 plus 90 plus A is equal to 180. Therefore, 2A plus 120 is equal to 180. Therefore, 2A is equal to 60. Therefore, A is equal to 30. Angle Z is equal to 30 degrees and angle X is equal to A plus 30 is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, triangle XYZ is a 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle. XY is equal to 1 upon 2XZ as it is the side opposite to 30 degrees is equal to 1 upon 2 into 24. XY is equal to 12. YZ is equal to root 3 upon 2 into XZ is equal to root 3 upon 2 into 24. Therefore, YZ is equal to 12 root 3. Note, check if the sides are in the ratio 1 is to root 3 is to 2. We have xy is to yz is to xz is equal to 12 is to 12 root 3 is to 24 is equal to 1 is to root 3 is to 2. While writing the ratio, maintain the order of sides as side opposite to 30 degrees is to side opposite to 60 degrees is to hypotenuse. Let's start with exercise 1.6. Question 1. Find the sides of a square whose diagonal is 16 root 2 centimeters. Solution. In triangle ABC, 
angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, according to the Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Therefore, AB is equal to BC as they are the sides of a square. Therefore, AB square plus AB square is equal to 16 root 2 square as the sides of the square are equal. Therefore, 2AB square is equal to 256 into 2. By cancelling 2 on both sides, we get AB square is equal to 256. AB square is equal to 256. AB is equal to 16. Therefore, the sides of the square is 16 centimeters. Question 2. Find the perimeter of an isosceles right triangle with each of its congruent sides measuring 7 centimeters. Solution. Perimeter of triangle ABC is equal to AB plus BC plus AC. Now, ABC is right triangle. By Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. 7 square plus 7 square is equal to AC square. 49 plus 49 is equal to AC square. AC square is equal to 98 is equal to 7 root 2 centimeters. Perimeter is equal to 7 plus 7 plus 7 root 2 is equal to 14 plus 7 root 2 is equal to 7 into 2 plus root 2 centimeters. Thus, the perimeter of isosceles triangle is 7 into 2 plus root 2 centimeters. Question 3. In the figure, if LK is equal to 6 root 3, find MK, ML, KN, MN and the perimeter of quadrilateral MNKL. Solution. In triangle MKL, LK is equal to 6 root 3. Angle L is equal to 90 degrees. Angle K is equal to 30 degrees. Angle M is equal to 60 degrees. According to 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees triangle theorem, LK is equal to root 3 upon 2 into MK. Therefore, 6 root 3 is equal to root 3 upon 2 into MK. MK is equal to 6 root 3 into 2 upon root 3. MK is equal to 12. ML is equal to 1 upon 2 into 12 is equal to 6. In triangle MNK, MK is equal to 12. Angle N is equal to 45 degrees. Angle K is equal to 90 degrees. Angle M is equal to 45 degrees. MK is equal to NK is equal to 12. Therefore, MK is equal to 1 upon root 2 MN. MN is equal to MK into root 2 is equal to 12 into root 2. Therefore, MN is equal to 12 root 2. Perimeter is equal to MN plus NK plus LK plus ML is equal to 12 root 2 plus 12 plus 6 root 3 plus 6 is equal to 6 into 2 root 2 plus 2 plus root 3 plus 1 is equal to 6 into 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 into 2 root 2 plus 3 plus root 3. In the figure, quadrilateral PQRV is a trapezium in which segment PQ is parallel to segment VR, SR is equal to 4 and PQ is equal to 6. Find VR. Solution. In triangle QRS, angle Q is equal to 45 degrees. Angle S is equal to 90 degrees. Hence, angle R is equal to 180 minus 135 is equal to 45. SR is equal to 4. SQ is equal to SR is equal to 4. 
PQ is equal to PS is equal to 6 and SQ is equal to PT is equal to 4 as PQST is a rectangle. In triangle PVT, angle T is equal to 90 degrees, angle P is equal to 60 and angle V is equal to 30 degrees as 180 minus 150. PT is equal to QS as PQST is a rectangle. Therefore, PT is equal to 4, PT is equal to half of PV. Therefore, 4 is equal to half of PV. PV is equal to 8. VT is equal to root 3 upon 2 PV is equal to root 3 upon 2 into 8. VR is equal to VT plus TS plus SR is equal to 4 root 3 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 4 root 3 plus 10.